Hello, friends. Probably just Spryly. I don't, I don't know if anyone else saw that there's a stream. It's kind of a, it's kind of a weird day. Kind of a weird one. Um, I'm just gonna say immediately, um, straight up, up front, up front, I'm just gonna say, <clears throat> oh, it's Easter for Easter. That's cool. Um, yeah, just gonna say up front, um, there's sort of an ongoing, not exactly emergency, something that could become an emergency in my home. Um, so there's a chance I might just have to dip at random at some point. So, uh, we're just all gonna have to learn to live with that. <laughs> Don't have any eggs, though. The supermarket and pharmacy were closed, so it's mostly been annoying, but museum was fun. I'm glad museum was fun. I saw that you tasted a rock. How did it taste? Was it was it good rock? Is that some some tasty rock? You didn't actually lick it. That was a trick of camera work. Uh, I can't believe you. It was marble. I mean, not licking a rock just because people sit on it seems like a uh, coward talk to me. I forget what we were doing in this game. Fuel carrier trailer. Ah, there's a trailer over here that we have to get out of that, uh, get out of that water. And then we gotta take it, uh, all the way over here. So that's fun. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this car. Be lesbian, lie about eating a rock. Or licking a rock, eat hot chip. You're so right, John. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pull in another truck here. Something with a lot of, uh, power behind it. In fact, maybe... Actually, no, 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 no. Hmm. Maybe we bring in this guy. Uh, see if we can... Mount... A crane on this and see if we can drag that thing out of there. Oh, my crane's apparently already mounted onto something, so I gotta... Yeah. I'm gonna take the crane off of here so I can put it on that other truck. <laughs> you also ate hot chips today. How are your hot chips? Did you enjoy them? Your, your tasty, lying hot chips. I love the twin steer, but I can't actually put <laughs> the uh, crane on the twin steer, unfortunately. Already have forgotten which truck I was gonna pick. Was it this? I think it was this. This is a heavy duty truck. It'll do it'll do it. It'll do the job. You love lying and stealing and eating hot chips. I mean, that's kind of a mood. Sort of a sort of a big mood if I do say so myself.
Okay. So, uh, what we're gonna do here is activate the anchor on the crane, maybe? There we go. Sent me a great post for after the stream. I'm really gonna love this one. Hell yeah. I do love a good post. This is a known fact about me. Got that mostly out of the mud. Just gonna reset the crane back to default and uh. Attach a regular winch. There we go. Attach that to the back of the truck. Um, now that's just like a normal trailer, so. Oh, maybe going into this mud was a mistake. This doesn't have four wheel drive or a differential lock. I thought I could kind of power through it, but I may have been wrong. Okay, you know what? Um, this truck, this truck just lives here for now. No problem. That truck just lives there for now. We're just going to go to the garage. No problem. Nothing wrong here. Sorry if I'm a little, like, lower energy today than normal. I'm just kind of... <sighs> tired. I don't want to buy a new truck right now. I'm tired and exhausted and there's a lot happening. I think if I leave the sideboard bed on, I can still drag that trailer. It's very fair. Yeah. I just, feel, you know, I like to be like a positive and calming and whatever. And right now I'm just kind of a sad sack, and, and it's fine to be a sad sack sometimes, but it's not the energy I like to give. <clears throat> I like all of my cool friends who watch my cool streams to enjoy my cool energy. Don't crash your truck into the pole. That's kind of a hot tip from me to you if you ever uh, drive a truck. Don't crash it into the light pole. You can make some truck jokes. I, I mean, feel free. We love truck jokes on this stream. On this stream, I want truck jokes. Come along, buddy. go. Now we attach the trailer. There. Now, how do I actually get where I'm going now that I've done all of that? Um. Okay, so we're just gonna head on down here. We're just gonna follow... Yeah, we're just gonna follow the uh, paved road until we get here. It's Scooch right through the middle there, and that'll take us to where we need to drop this off. Easy peasy. Simple, simple trucking. 
Born on a mountain, raised in a cave. Trucking and fucking is all I crave. What do New York truckers say when you ask an unreasonable request? Um, they probably say, hey, I'm trucking-y. That's my only New York joke. Tell me, what, what do New York truckers say when you make an unreasonable request? <clears throat> Forget about it. <laughs> That's also a good New York joke. You have to say it like, forget about it. Ford TM. Ah, I see. Ford get about. I don't know. That's nothing. That's not a joke that works out loud with my mouth. That is a, that is a joke for text. So, I've just been, you know, talking about how I'm a big, a big sad sack. How, how y'all doing? How's, how are you doing, Spryly and John? I hope it's well. Personally, I am doing less bad than I made it sound. I'm just very tired, and there's a lot going on in my little sphere of people right now. That's all. Now I could try going this way, but that seems dangerous at best. Let's just go the easy way instead of that way. You saw a big squid before? Or you saw a big squid today and you've seen it before? That's really cool. Is the squid your friend? Today was good and also tiring and your legs are very sore. Uh, that's fair. Museum trips can be like that. Like, they're fun. Uh, they're also exhausting. Oh, you have another truck joke? Lay it on me. the biggest danger of deep sea trucking? Um, I'm gonna say the warder. The warder is the biggest danger of deep sea trucking, I think. I can't get in that truck, can I? No, I can't. the Mercedes Benz. Oh no. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that one. I like that one. It's pretty good. Pretty good one, Riley. Riley, old buddy, old pal. love the Mercedes-Benz, but they hate the Mercedes-Benz. You should guest on Long Haul sometime. Is there like a multiplayer simulator game of some kind we can play? And uh, uh, pressure wash, pressure washing simulator has... I'm just ruining my truck on these random rocks. 
Pressure washing simulator, though. That that does actually have multiplayer. Very good. Thank you for your service. No problem, boss. Okay, so that's one task done. Don't want to do any of the contests right now. Getting that truck out's going to be a lot of trouble. Same with this one. That one's much further away from where you need to actually bring it. Wow. I could maybe grab a scout truck and go grab some upgrades because there's one there and there's one over here and there's one off to the side of this road or the paved road from the garage somewhere. Um, yeah, in there. Which is, I think, kind of down a cliff situation. Um. Truck joke number three. What happens when a truck violates the rules of a truck sport, i.e. truck football, truck basketball, or trucky? Um, it gets put in the penalty box, but for trucks, um, the, uh, I got nothing. I got nothing. scout truck that I was driving around this map before. Oh, I left it out. That's why. I can't find it anywhere. There you are. The referee calls a fouler. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. Well, this one's already kind of nearby where there's an upgrade, sort of. Um, it is running a little low on fuel, but I do have a fuel tank in it. Bosco bonked his head on your desk. Oh no! Tried to jump on your lap and failed miserably and fell back down. Oh no, Bosco's having a hard time. Tell Bosco I'm sorry and give him a little kiss on the head. bad at jumping? Oh, no. He said merp? I'm so glad. I'm so glad that he said merp. Okay. So here's a question. How much fuel do I have? Not a ton. But I have enough to gas myself back up to full. So I'm gonna just head on over. I really like SnowRunner. I was thinking of doing a pit stop stream today, but I decided that I should just play SnowRunner because it is a nice kind of chill, relaxing kind of game. I was thinking about maybe playing Doom 64. I've been playing a lot of Doom 64 the last few days um, because I inexplicably decided I want 100% that game. 
which means I've already done all of the super hard, like, challenge levels on the hardest difficulty, but I've got to do a few more uh, super difficult levels, plus uh, the entire secondary Lost Levels campaign that they added. So this is a nice, a nice break from sort of first-person shooting in an N64 fashion. The Lost Levels, yeah, right? Wild. Okay, this looks like a place I can use like a path even if it's not actually a path, so I'm just gonna go for it. I'm cutting corners. Yeah, that was some pretty effective off-roading. Okay, we'll hang a left here. But yeah, I actually don't know what the deal with the Lost Levels is, <laughs> to be honest. I just know it's a second campaign that's in the game, because I've beaten the base campaign. I still need to finish it again, but on the hardest difficulty, but I'm almost through with that. This is a pretty difficult game, honestly. Doom 64 is kind of tough as nails. And I... Am as dumb as those same nails. There's a lot of broken bridges around here. I'm as tough as cotton, that's true. I'm as tough as cotton and as smart as cotton. Oh, I missed. I missed the area that it's actually in. Cotton all the way down. Um, I have been watching a lot of Dropout, if anyone watches Dropout. I watched, uh, I've seen now every released episode of Game Changer, which is sort of a nightmare show. Sort of my, my worst nightmare. <laughs> Like, being invited onto a game show and not knowing the rules sounds like... Why do I keep missing this? I just need to put a... <laughs> just put a target down. There it is. Your housemate watches a lot of Dropout. It's good! The people on Dropout are very funny. Raised suspension kit for the Con LO4F. Alright, so that's one of three upgrades. At least of the three upgrades that I remember seeing on this map. Hmm. Okay, go with me here. What if I. I'm gonna warp the truck back. No, maybe I won't, maybe I'll just drive there. Maybe I kinda go like whoop, 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 
whoop and then i think there's an upgrade in here in this little cliff thing so what if i just drive this truck off of the edge of that and try to get the upgrade instead of driving in there the proper way i think that seems like a thing to do There is a way the game wants me to do it, and this is the way I'm going to try to do it instead. Speedrun strats, you know? Seems like a great idea. I'm glad someone's on my side here. I'm a genius. Speedrun strats, I say, plowing my 18-wheeler off the road and into the ocean. You're so right. I'm always saying speedrun strats while I do that with my 18-wheeler. To be fair, this truck is only a four-wheeler. There's only four wheels on this guy. Which makes it safer, probably less wheels to worry about, you know? Shiv's classic collection of hundreds of 18-wheelers. Yep. That's me. Reserved entirely for speedrun stunts. When I find the clipping angle to go underground like in Skyrim, then they'll see it. That is so true. Alright. Now we've done our trucking. I think it is somewhere right over here that I see the alerts for it. Yep, there it is. Alright, so instead of going the way the game wants me to go, I'm just going to try to kind of very gently, very tenderly, carefully, careful, gentle, careful, careful, careful. Hey! <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got an engine for a bunch of different trucks. Yippee! I'm a genius. Clearly this was an intended strategy by the game developers. Is there gas in the car? Nope. If there's one thing I can say, it's that I'm very glad that I'm not getting the drive right now. I got inundated with the drive recently and it was a nightmare for everyone involved. But like a funny nightmare. Nightmare parentheses funny. A delightmare. Yes. I love that.
I really am, for some reason, I really want to get out of this the intended way instead of cheesing it like I did with getting the upgrade. Nope, don't tip, don't tip, don't tip. Okay, good try. So close to having traction. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I honestly really didn't expect just jumping the car up the cliff to work there. Oh, that can't be good for the truck. Bottoming out, generally not good for trucks. Um, I don't know if y'all are aware of that. Just a little truck tip. A little, little truck tip from me to you. Shiv's truck tricks. Truck, truck tricks. Shiv's truck tricks. Include, uh, don't do that. Don't do that because it hurts your truck. It makes your truck unhappy. Um, also includes don't drive your truck off a cliff to get an upgrade, unless it's very funny. Oh jeez, oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh jeez. If your truck friendship meter gets too low, your truck needs to be cleaned uh, or fed apples or fed carrots. You're so right. And as we all know, there is currently a shortage of carrots uh, because of Cable 2 using the carrots on all of the posts. All of the carrots have been used up on Cable 2 posts in the Cable 2 Discord. There we go. I did it. I did that completely legit exactly how it was intended. I would like to unlock that watchtower. On the other hand, I've got missions I could do also. Geological exploration. We've got a contract from a fuel company that would like to conduct a soil survey to assess mineral content. Perform a seismic triangulation using the specified locations. I can't see which locations are specified. Local farmers are trying to expand their operations and they're all flustered. They need a variety of supplies and fast. As a reward for helping them out, we're offering some money. Uh, okay. Well, I can certainly pick up cement. That's easy. Need to get cement to the sawmill. Wooden planks to the factory. And then one concrete slab to the farm. So, I think the farm's over here, or unless it means the farm that's up. No, never mind. There's only one farm that I know of, at least. It's about uh, taking trucks uh, into difficult driving situations, mostly off-road. 
So it's a game with a lot of mud and snow physics. And uh, some dangerous driving conditions. Delightful, you love mud sludge physics. Yeah, it, it rules. I love when mud. I love when sludge. I love when slime and goo. Slop. Slime. You're so right. You're so, you're so right. You're so right. You're so right. You're so right. Um. <laughs> I need a cement. Whatever a meal can one make with a slop or a slime. It depends on the type of slop or slime you have is the thing. Um, the uh, type of slop or slime you have will really affect the type of meal you can create with it. Because, like, you could describe a, a creamed corn as a slop or a slime. And a creamed corn will make a much different meal than, for example, uh, some, like, apple gelatin. Creamed corn is very slop. You're so right. There are many slime in the world. You're so right. I should probably figure out, like, where I'm actually going. Oh, uh, yeah, I wanted to take that road, I think, to get to the sawmill. Because this seems like a harder drive than... Hmm. Yep, I think we go back. is hell in a hand basket. I'm always thinking about hell and how it's in a hand basket. one, I think. Oh, I'm very tired and sleepy, friends. I'm probably going to end up calling this one early, even, even if the emergency thing doesn't come up. Was actually a response to where am I going, but I love the idea of per periodically snickering at the idea of how hell is in a handbasket. It's very funny, is the thing. The idea of hell being in a handbasket, very silly, very funny. Uh, reminds me of uh, some favorite jokes from the best show of all time, uh, Family Guy. How did I end up going down this path? Okay, I guess we're going this way now. If I can get the truck to even, like, go this way. Come on, winch. You can get us moving. Come on. I don't think the winch can get us moving. There we go. And... Yeah, Family Guy loves jokes, he makes those. Yep, 
I'm always saying that about him. I like the joke where he goes, <laughs> he does like a little, a little laugh. Sort of has a little, has a little giggle. That's my favorite Family Guy joke. You know, like, honestly, uh, it seems to me that uh, all you see on TV these days is, like, violence and, and, and sex. Uh, but I think that Family Guy really has some of those old-fashioned values we used to rely upon. We're really, we're really lucky that there is a show out there like Family Guy. The show about the family guy. They made a family guy for the family men. That's so true, and I. As we all know, I am a man, uh, and I'm a family man. We're just normal men. We're just normal men. We're just innocent men. We're just innocent men. Lucky there's an innocent man. Lucky there's a man. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a follow-up rhyme for that. I'm sorry. I keep checking the map as if there's more than one kind of obvious path to follow here. Spinnocent pen, that is a pretty good rhyme. You're like the white M&M. You're so great. <laughs> <sighs> Eminem bragged about how he could even rhyme orange. Can he? Did he? Did he did he do it? Well, this didn't really work out super well uh, in my favor. And actually, there's lots of rhymes I can think of, like door hinge, porridge. Like door hinge is technically a rhyme for orange if you're looking if what you're looking for is a perfect rhyme. Like it does, it does fit. He actually said borange. Well, damn. I mean, I, as someone who used to be a theater kid, uh, a, a Shakespeare enjoyer, if you would, um, I can appreciate someone making up a word so that their rhyme scheme works better. That is a, that is an art that I can appreciate. Uh, so really, what I'm saying is, uh, Eminem is uh, some kind of rap god. I don't know any of the lyrics to that song. I just know it's called Rap God. He gave, he gave those two examples, of what, and there's tons of other ones, too. This is just me on the spot. What can't you believe, Riley? What have I done? What have I done to shock and scandalize you? Tell me. Tell me all about it. Tell me about the scandal. I 
I praised Eminem. Yeah, but it was like a it was like a joke. I was like I was like doing a bit. Well, this is kind of a problem. Can I not can I not praise Eminem as a bit? Like is that also illegal in the same way that praising Eminem not as a bit is? You already took me out of context and I've been canceled. God damn it. Now I'm getting canceled over my hot takes about Eminem and my uh, enjoyment of uh, Hawaiian pizza with a little bit of ranch dressing. Eminem doesn't like slop. Eminem is not a slop guy, uh, which is why he should be the one who's canceled. The real victim of cancel culture is me. Exclusively me. No one but me has ever been victimized by cancel culture. It's just me. <laughs> You're actually real for this one. Hey, I was right. They do have wooden planks, planks here, so... Now... I can either go up of this way or around of this way. Around us seems longer, but up us seems like maybe a bit of a more difficult path. Uh, up us is kinda pretty long too. Cause I'd essentially have to go all the way around here, then to the factory. Now I could try to go up this way and this then just like water. plow through the center of this, this town. Water. This is water. This is water. You love garlic sauce Hawaiian pizza. See, I don't know what uh I don't know what what kind of garlic sauce you're putting on the Hawaiian pizza. I just like a little bit of ranch dressing. I just want like a little little I want some ranch on my plate and I wanna dip I wanna dip my Hawaiian pizza in there. And then here's the trick. Um you leave about like a half a bite's worth of pizza along the entirety of the crust. And then you dip that crust with the extra pizza that you left behind, especially for this little treat. You you put some ranch on that. You have a little you have a little little bite bite, a little chomp chomp. And uh, that is delicious. And then you also finish all of your food. Because I don't like wasting food. I actually like really have like a pathological... I'm going down the path, the other path, not the one that I meant to. Whoops. Well, we're going this way. You hope I fall in a big hole and don't leave it? Fail. I can't believe that I'm being canceled again for liking for liking a fucking, a fucking Hawaiian pizza with a little bit of ranch dressing. Anyway, what I'm getting at, what I'm getting at is that uh, food waste is bad. Don't waste food if you can avoid it. Um, eat your pizza crust. Leave a little, leave a little bit of the pizza behind to, uh, for, for your last couple bites there, and then you eat the pizza crust with a little bit of ranch dressing. And then you have like a little pizza e ranch dressing e treat. The three cancels I have struck out. Which means I'm now immune to being canceled. It's the it's the top of the it's now at the top of the second cancellation inning. And I am no longer uh, at bat, I am pitching. You feed your pizza crust to local squirrels, me? Hell yeah. You love pizza meal in its entirety. I do also love a pizza meal in its entirety. <gasps> nope, please don't tip over. Thank you. There we go flattened out. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. 
and also normal. You're late to truck movement game. Yeah, I'm sorry, numbers. How are you doing today, numbers? Oh, you want me to cancel you now, Thale? Um, okay, you're canceled. I'm canceling you for uh, saying that you're like the white M&M earlier because that's a fucked up thing to say. You're taking away from M&M's achievement as the only white rapper. <laughs> you like this Trek ASMR universe? Yeah, Eminem's reputation as the only white rapper. Oh, this might have been a mistake. This is a lot of mud. Oh no. Now I'm being canceled by the video game for ruining someone's fence. Oh, the sludge. Oh, no, the sludge. I hit the woe. I hit the woe. He played some Thoth today and got really Argarg adversarial. I don't know what Thoth is. What is Thoth? The hero of the hell the heck of the hell the heart of the um horse the heart of the horse final answer Then stick shooter puzzle game. Oh, that's cool. Come on. I'm being punished for my hubris. I'll just take the actual road. I'm sorry, video the game. The heart of the horse is the magic of Christmas. The heart of the horse is the magic of Christmas. That's such a beautiful thing to say. Puzzle is in how do I kill these abstract shapes without dying? I see. Is it sort of a Geometry Wars situation? Because that's the only twin stick shooter I can think of where you kill abstract shapes without dying. It has to be possible to cut through one of these yards, right? Yeah, see I'm having a much better time now. This is how real trucking is done. You just ruin someone's fence and yard by driving a truck through them. The main thing is there are all these individual levels slash situations rather than waves. Interesting. Santa like a dumbass and the Christmas magic inside reverted to its base state of horse heart. Yeah, that's what you get for eating Santa's cookies, my friend. You get a mouthful of horse blood. 
And I hope that learn. I hope that you learned your lesson about stealing Santa's uh, delicious, wonderful cookies. You need to offer those cookies to him in effigy, uh, in exchange for both his mercy and your presence. Like, like where I'm from, where I'm from, uh, you would have been burned at the stake for that. They would have found the horse blood all over your face. They would have found the horse blood all over your face. And then they would have been like, oh, you ate Santa's cookies. We can't have something like that. Uh, we can't, we cannot have a person like that in our, in our community. Uh, I can't believe you've done this. And then they would kill you. They would have you killed. <laughs> what did I just join in on? Hello, hello, Tammy. I hope you're well. Um, I don't believe in black pudding. I think black pudding is uh, British propaganda. It's not real. Give me, give me just a moment here. Uh... It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it up. We made this one. It's a made up tip. It's a total fabrication. It never happened. It never happened. This one was invented by a writer. Not this time. It never happened. It's false. It never happened. It's a fake. It's fiction. It's an urban legend that never happened. No way. We got you. Not a chance. Not this time. It never happened. It never happened. We made this one up. It's fiction. We made up this one. We made it up. Not this time. It's wrong. Not this time. Not this time. You're wrong. Not this time. It never happened. Where's my, where's my 45 second long Jonathan Frakes tells you you're wrong uh, sound alert? Like, why do, why do we get the drive, but I don't get Jonathan Frakes telling me I'm wrong for 45 seconds as a sound alert? It's false. No. I'm not repeating it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it. We made this one. It's sad to get a music playing in your house. You're watching your girlfriend play Elden Ring and listening to Jonathan this Frakes. It's, it's like a religious never experience. Not this it's it's false. It never happened. It's a fake. It's fiction. It's an urban legend. It never happened. No way. Uh, there is gas in the car. Uh, there's currently 117 liters of gas in the car. It never happened. Um, I'm going to need to get more gas pretty soon. We made on this one. But I think I can bring these, uh, this concrete slab. Not this time. To the park or to the Not farm without uh, needing to gas the car up again. Can someone buy the drive? I don't have any points. Uh, no. No one can buy the drive. Uh, the drive never existed. We made it up. It was invented by a writer. I also used all my points on stupid TTS jokes, mostly during Warp Zone. Drive with Jonathan Frake, simultaneous. Ancient Free Orange. Recreating the drive only with Jonathan Frake sound clips. You'd probably have to pull from a lot of places there. The man's been in a lot. You got TNG, Picard, Beyond Belief, Fact and Fiction, one episode of Star Trek Enterprise, um, probably other things. I'm assuming Jonathan Frakes has been in things other than those.
uh, you know, let, let us know, hey, this is a, this is a call out for people watching on YouTube. Uh, if you know shows that Jonathan Frakes has been on other than Star Trek Picard, Star Trek The Next Generation, and Beyond Belief Fact or Fiction, uh, sound off in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe if you know shows other than that that Jonathan Frakes has been in. Um, and if you say a movie, how fucking dare you? I said shows. But yeah, feel free to let us know. This is a bit. I'm doing a bit again, if that wasn't clear. But only then. Don't like or subscribe if you don't know any Jonathan Frakes shows. Yeah, we don't want your kind here. <laughs> if, you don't, if you're not aware of what Jonathan Frakes has been up to. And if you look it up on IMDb, I'm not going to be angry. But I will know and I will be disappointed. You know, if you, if you look up things on Google or IMDb or any service like that, I won't be angry. I'll just be disappointed. And make no mistake, I will know. Like, you can't hide that from me. Um, I know everything. I'm Siobhan, your best friend. Your worst enemy. If you use IMDB, you're Jonathan Frakes. I wish I were Jonathan Frakes. If I were Jonathan Frakes, I'd be a whole lot hotter than I am. This is a bit. I'm doing a bit. Actually, I do think Jonathan Frakes is hot. Never mind, I'm not doing a bit. <laughs> I don't wish I was him, though. Oh, it said fakes. Jonathan fakes. Well, whatever. Whatever. I don't... I don't care. Now you know that I think Jonathan Frakes is hot. Who cares? Everyone thinks Jonathan Frakes is hot. This isn't, like, news to anyone. He's... he's a heartthrob. He's the ultimate heartthrob. But was Jonathan Frakes a transgender furry? He wasn't a transgender furry. He still isn't a transgender furry. As far as I'm aware, at least. As far as I know, Jonathan Frakes is neither transgender nor furry. Okay, so I could go this way, but then I have to go through that water, which is scary. But, uh, fuck it. I'm running out of gas. I need to go quickly. Or else there won't be gas in the car. They'll ask me, is there gas in the car? And I'll have to say, nope. Just like the drive. Pick a cool name like Uber Kill Skull. That is a pretty cool name. I think Jonathan Frakes should change his name to Uber Kill Skull. <sighs> Big yawn. Yeah, like I said, I'm probably going to call this stream early. I'm going to kind of see how tired I am when I finish this uh, this mission here. And we might just we might just call it, you know? I'm just just really tired. It's been a long few days, you know. You know, I really thought this would be like a like a path across the river and not just a big rock in the middle of it. But uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll see if we can get through here. I can get pretty deep in water before it, uh, before it damages this truck. Good night, they call you the napper the way you're going to sleep. A good long haul as always. Well, we're not quite done. I want to finish up this, uh, I want to finish up this mission we're doing. I want to take these concrete slabs to the farm. So don't say good night just yet. It'll be soon, though. The truck is melting? No, it's not. It's just in water. It's just wet. The tires might be melting a little bit, but only a little. Oh, 
us back on land. It will turn to dust the Wicked Witch of the West. Um, it's not a Wicked Witch, it's a truck. Trucks can't be witches. They can be wicked, though. And you can tell this one's wicked because it's got flame decals. Which is wicked as hell. Yeah, this truck actually has a snorkel on it. That's what this this tall thing here is. Uh, basically, it can still continue to run. The engine can continue to run. Uh, as long as... Uh, that stays above water. The top of it. Uh, trucks can be witches. I'm canceling you a fourth time. Uh... It's literally called a snorkel. Like, this is like a real part of real trucks, I think. Like, this is like a thing that you can add to a real truck. Truck snorkel. Yeah, this is like a real... A real thing. Um, here, let me... Look at this. Snorkel. Real, real snorkel. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that incredible? Snorkel height. Oh, that guy's got a cool snorkel. Look at, get a load of this. Aqueous beast. Now my truck can breathe in water. Trucks can breathe in water, which is a type of magic, which means that trucks can be witches, actually. I was so blind to my own blindness. I was so blind that I didn't even know that I was blind. I'm running out of fuel, like, rapidly. I only have 42 gallons left, or liters left, which is a lot less than 42 gallons. All is forgiven, I'm reinstating you. Great, I'm uncancelled, everyone. Behold. The uncancelable Shiv. That's what they call me. That's my Dark Souls boss name. You find me and I'm just like a big fucked up plushie. Uh in a big in like a big pit. Um and I'm like chained to the wall, uh, because they they chained me up to stop me from escaping back into the world because I was I couldn't be cancelled. And when the boss fight music starts up and you uh, you look at the name on the bottom of your screen next to my big, big health bar, it says, Shiv the Uncancelable. And it's actually like the second hardest fight in the game. My Dark Souls boss name is Visceral Learner. That's pretty good. I like that. But yeah, I could I can like imagine like a Dark Souls NPC going like they couldn't they couldn't cancel them. Uh so they they did the only thing that they could do. They made sure that they that they would be forgotten forever. And then, you know, like cryptic laughter or whatever. Um There's just stuffing all over the battlefield. Yeah, the, the blood particle re effect is replaced with a stuffing particle effect. I probably have, like, some extra limbs shown on. Shiv of the Uncancelable is the hardest fight in the game because blocking and parrying don't work. I guess parrying wouldn't really work on me. That's true. You did good. You get your promised money. Thanks for the money. Idiots. I'm I'm out of here, losers. Truck dub. Run over their fence. Yeah, alright. 
Yeah, get fucking fenced, idiot. <laughs> I don't know why I talk like this. Oh, I knocked down their outhouse. That's just rude. All right. Oh, I found a scout fuel carrier. That's cool. Like I said, uh, we're calling it. We're calling it an early night. So I'm just going to recover this back to the garage. Look at my beautiful, lovely, wonderful truck. Um, this truck, you're completely allowed to go through any and all fences you see. That's true. That's actually in the law. Um, the law says that. Which law, I hear you cry. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which law. Uh, that's what the law says. The, the law. For what jurisdiction? It's the law, idiot. It doesn't matter what jurisdiction. It's the fucking law. Real law, official. All right, I'm going to jump into the... There we go. There we go. We're in the, the funny little uh, outro screen. I hope that... Look at... Like I said, I hope you're all doing well. I'm sorry that I'm not streaming for super long tonight. It's just been a difficult uh, few days over here. And, you know, we can we can live with that. Um, it's it's survivable and all. It's just, it's just tiring. It's just exhausting. Uh, the good news is that I talked to a doctor today and we're looking into the possibilities regarding my medical stuff. Uh, so remember when I mentioned a few weeks ago that I might have some kind of neurological disorder? Uh, yeah, we're gonna get on that if the solution that we're currently looking at doesn't help. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this has been, it's been like positive exhausting, but definitely exhausting, you know? I just wanna watch my little guy bounce if I'm gonna keep talking. Hello, little guy. Yeah, you love to bounce. I love it. I love it. I love it when it bounces. Thank you so much to Dana for making this incredible fucking PNG tuber for me, honestly. Anyway, um... <laughs> anyway, yeah, for real, though. Uh, love y'all. I hope you have wonderful, wonderful nights. Um, and I hope that uh, the world... And the people around you treat you as well as you all deserve. And I do truly believe that all of you deserve to be treated well. Even even if I pretend that uh, that I want to see Thale burnt at the stake, I actually don't. I, I actually want to see you uh, treated with the respect and dignity that you deserve. Because we're all... Uh, I was going to say we're all human beings. We're not all human beings here. Uh, I'm not a human being. But like we're all we're all people, you know? We're all people, and we all we all deserve that basic respect and dignity. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm just feeling sentimental. I hope y'all have a good night. Bye. <laughs>